Jason, seems like headphones need to be a bit more cool these days to they market. Do. They do, yeah. We've got a lot of companies out there competing for the fashion headphone, do you? Mm. You know, your Beats by Dre and your Skull Candy. But, um, and we got some that sound good as well. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Thankfully, there are companies like Sennheiser, actual reputable you know, audio manufacturers, going into that market while still actually thinking about how it sounds. And how it looks. And how it looks. Look, they do look very cool. They and I think they, cool. they could get that, that, you know, that cool market. Yeah. But really, these are all about what they were built for, which is DJing. These are the HD8 DJs. <laughs> Hence the term DJ, yeah. you know, HD8 DJ. Yeah, yeah look, this is, this is uh, pretty much the top of the line in the, the new HD 6, 7 and 8 yep. range. Um, the, the other two are a little bit different. And mm. how they sound tonally. But mm. yeah, look, uh, what do you think of these? Um, they're, they're very much built for, for the job. Now, the isolation on them is is extreme. Freaky. Yeah, you put it on and it, it is actually a little bit unsettling how quiet everything goes. But I think once you're in a noisy yeah. room, a yeah. noisy nightclub, mm. that's probably going to be an yeah. absolute blessing because the less sound that you've got coming in from outside, mm. the quieter you can actually run your headphones mm. and the less hearing damage you'll encounter. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, and and speaking of which, that's really what they're built for. I mean, you're in a noisy environment and you're beat matching. And mm. I think that their frequency response is really tailored for that as well. Yeah, their frequency response is, um, well, I, I've compared them to the HD25s, which mm. I use a lot. Uh, and their frequency response is quite different. I, mm. I did some sweeps, you know, I, I set up a block and I mm. uh, put a reference mic through it and actually sealed the ear cup to, to try and best simulate how it would work when, when it's sealed against the side of your head. And I yep. know it's not perfect science, but mm. it's enough to give you a general idea mm. of, um, of what the differences are. Uh, and, and they're not just down low as well. Uh, the, the high frequency extension on the 25s, I think, goes a little bit higher. Mm. Mm. But look, as you say, these are really built for a very specific purpose. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they come in this nice little travel case with an extra curly cord and extra ear pads. And the presentation, I've got to say, is lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you you pick the thing up and, and you know, before you even open the box, it feels, yeah, it feels like good. quality, yeah. uh, which I think is typical of Sennheiser. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when, as far as application wise, you think they're really, what do, you, what do you think? Well, I don't think you're going to wear them just to look cool on the bus. I don't think you're going to use them for like mixing a band. I think you're going to use them for DJing. It's the, the extra bass for beat matching, the isolation to get the rest of the club out of mm -hmm. your head. Um, but I, I, think, I like this. Oh, the locking, yep, locking bayonet and the durable. Removal. Oh, and you can yeah. you can plug it in on either side. Yeah. Look, Which they've really cool. thought about it, and I think that's exactly what they're for. They're about club use, they're about lasting, and they're about saving your ears in that environment. Mm. I agree.